Check this. And welcome to Review Geek 3000. And you are here for one reason only, and that's And that is to eat, sleep, game, repeat, to watch exclusive content. So please, like, share, subscribe, smash that notification bell. And as always, on this channel, stay awesome. Chefs, guys, welcome back to another episode of the Contenders Corner. And we are in the commentary box with our trusty mascot, Yoda, to give you the results of Monday Night Raw and we are ready to talk everything that is wrestling just guys after a showdown at after an amazing amazing pay per view at Survivor Series we said our farewell, our goodbye to The Undertaker. And we said thank you. We shed a tear for 30 years of the dead man. But on Sunday night, he stepped out of his boots and he said goodbye to the WWE universe but again Mark Calloway The Undertaker you have stood the test of time with your legendary status in the WWE as the dead man as the phenom as the Undertaker after watching you way back as me Mark Callis you have outperformed in the ring since WCCW Um of the fans have seen you as the Lord of Darkness, the man from the dark side, the phenom, the American badass, big evil, the dead man, the original dead man, the Punisher, Punisher Dice Morgan, Mean Mark Tal Callis, the Texas Red, the last outlaw, the demon of Death Valley. And the Undertaker. Out of all them gimmicks, you have lasted three decades in WWE. And you have hold the weight of that business on your shoulder for three decades. You have an amazing WrestleMania record, 21-0. But, obviously, at WrestleMania 30, that had changed. But again, um, I am going to say this. I am, I am going to say this on here. I, f I think WWE had did something wrong that night. And um, I think the streak shouldn't have been taken away. I think that should have been unique to that character and it shouldn't have been broke but apart from that guys the Undertaker me Mark Callis Mark Calloway you are an amazing amazing wrestler amazing talent and good boy for now anyway after a month leading up to Survivor Series that focused less and more on the developments of Raw versus Smackdown. It was time to get back to business as usual. That's exactly what happened on Monday Night Raw. A show centred around championships and men battling to become contenders. So we had the number one contenders tournament. Matt Riddle versus... Sheamus, we had Keith Lee versus Bobby Lashley. We had the New Day versus Hurt Business. We had the Raw Women's Title match. 
Oscar versus Lana. Then we had uh, Oscar and Lana versus Nia Jax and Shayna Baxler. Then we had Alexa Bliss, Alexa Bliss versus Nikki Cross, and then AJ Styles versus Randy Orton. But anyway, let, let's go straight into our Raw review. So, first off, Matt Riddle versus Sheamus. Solid stuff from both men. At one point, you got the impression that they stopped wrestling and started fighting for real. Not saying that that's what really happened, but they gave the feeling that they did. And I loved it. Um, give two wrestlers time and no funny business. Full creative control. And look what happens. Um, and I'm going to give this a contender's corner match rating. Four out of five. For the solid stuff that they gave in that ring last night. Then we had Keith Lee versus Bobby Lashley. And uh, Keith Lee wins via disqualification. And again, like, like we watched from the Matt Riddle versus Sheamus match, it looked like solid stuff that they were going for an absolute slobber knocker. And it looked like it looked like they looked at each other and gave a singular nod. A few missteps took this out of four star. Well, I'm not saying I'm not going to say it took it out of the four star range. They played to the little strengths and the idea that they were strong to create a good match with an odd ending. Um, I'm going to give this uh, contender score and match rating 4 out of 5. Um, there was a few missteps in that match, but but I'm going to call it 4 out of 5 um, for the similar reason like we saw in Matt Riddle versus Sheamus match. It looked like a brutal match. Um, at one point, you, you got the impression that they were actually fighting instead of wrestling. Um, so yeah guys, two four star matches there. Then we have New Day versus The Hurt Business. A New Day win. Um, I'm going to give this a contenders corner match rating. 3.5 out of 5. Then we had the Raw Women's Title match. Oscar versus Lana. Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler come out into the ringside. And they attack Oscar. No person wins during this match. This is a pure disqualification. Then we lead into the match. Oscar versus Lana. Oscar and Lana versus Nia Jax and Shayna Baxter, And Oscar and Lana win. Um, Lana continues to get lucky and it does nothing. This is only compounded by the fact that Lana, the character, has never ever been likeable. And no amount of smudged lipstick or crying documentaries will make us feel any different. Um, I'm going to give this contenders corner match rating 1 out of 5. Then we have Alexa Bliss versus Nikki Cross. And Alexa Bliss wins by pinfall with her signature move, the sister Abigail. Um, the contenders corner match rating for this one, I'm going to give this a 3 out of 5. Then we have the main event. AJ Styles versus Randy Orton. And AJ Styles wins with the interference of The Fiend. Well, not nearly as good as the other two matches from the start. That mattered. And The Fiend finally gets a feud that could garner some interest. At least from me, anyway. Um, so this... This is building up to The Fiend and Randy Orton in the next pay-per-view. But I'm going to give this Randy Orton versus AJ Styles a contender's corner match rating 3 out of 5. Overall, a show rating, I'm going to give this a 3.7 out of 5. 
two good matches. Um, but again, the AJ Styles and Randy Orton match was okay. It wasn't a four star match, in my opinion. The New Day versus Hurt business was a good match, but it's again, it wasn't as good as Keith Lee and Matt Riddle's match. But anyway, guys, that is the Contenders Corner review of Raw this week. So anyway, guys, if you love and support this channel, then please like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for our next episode of the Contenders Corner. Where we, in the commentary box, discuss everything that is wrestling. Just guys, explore our playlist. And that is, again, the Contenders Corner. Um, we have a film parade where, if you love and enjoy films, we review films on there. We also have the Games on Frenzy and we do walkthroughs on there. So check out that. And um, we're actually doing a live stream of the Marvel's Avengers game at the moment. And that will be on that playlist very soon. So please, again, support our channel and subscribe. But anyway, guys, we will catch you on the next episode. And as always, stay awesome.